Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to embed a live Figma prototype into any element of your slides in a Figma presentation using the Pitch Deck plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is open up a Figma file, click on the little resources icon at the top here, and if you search for the word Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, and you'll see Pitch Deck pop up. All you need to do is click on the Pitch Deck result, and then you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or you can click on the little more options icon and click on save to Figma plugins. And that'll just make it easier to access it later. So I've already saved it to my plugins list. So to run the plugin, I'm just going to go to my Figma canvas, right click, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins and click on the pitch deck item. And that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically treats any frames on your page as a slide. So I've got a bunch of different slides here and in each of those frames, I've just got a bunch of text layers and content layers, and those will get treated as individual layers in your slides that you can add things like animations and links and embeds to. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on how to embed a live Figma prototype. So to do that, all I've done is just set up a brand new frame called prototype embed. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. And inside of that frame, I've just got one layer. It's just a rectangle layer called embed. And this is basically just going to be a placeholder layer for where we want our Figma prototype embed to go. So in this case, I'm going to be embedding a different uh, Figma file. So I've got this other landing page design that I grabbed from the Figma community. And I'm going to be embedding this as a live prototype in our pitch deck uh, presentation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just change the prototype background and I'm going to change it to the same color as my presentation slides. So in this case, it's going to have a white background. So what I want to do is in my design or the embed that I want to include, I'm just going to click on the prototype tab here. Then I'm going to go down to the background um, option and I'm going to change that to white. So you can just change that to whatever background color you want. In this case, I'm just going to leave it to uh, white, which matches the slide background, uh, as you can see here. So the outer background border that I've got set is white. So I'm going to set the prototype background to white as well. And then to get the prototype link, all you need to do is click on the little play button here to uh, go into present mode. And this is going to load up the Figma prototype uh, window. So what we want to do is we want to click on this share prototype button, and then we want to make sure that the settings are set to anyone with the link. So anyone with the link is selected instead of only people invited. So I've got anyone with the link and then can view. So I want to set that to can view instead of can edit. They don't need to have, uh, it doesn't need to have an edit permission, just can view. So once those two options are set, you can click on the copy link icon here. So click on copy link. That's going to copy it to our clipboard and then we're basically ready to go. So now I'm going to go back to my uh, presentation design. I'm going to go to my prototype embed slide and instead of applying an animation, I'm going to go to the embeds tab. So I'm going to click on embeds here and that's going to give us a text area to paste an embed link. So in this case, I'm going to be pasting it onto this uh, rectangle layer embed layer here that we set up. I'm going to click on the input field and paste that prototype link in that we just copied from the Figma file. And you can see here it instantly loads up the Figma prototype. So we can scroll through this, uh, we can interact with it. If it has any interactivity, we can do that as we'd expect. Um, but for today, I'm just going to be mainly using it as a way to present a live Figma file inside of our presentation. So now that we've got that set up, um, I'll just mention that you can use this on any layer. So if you did want to apply it to a different slide, you could apply it to, for example, this little rectangle uh, layer. So we've got our little image layer. You could paste it in there and that would replace that layer with the prototype as well. Um, obviously, that's going to be a bit smaller and it's got this overlay on it. So maybe this isn't the best slide for it. But I just wanted to show you that you can basically embed different things onto different layers in any slide and that will work as expected. So I'm just going to remove that. And now that we've got our embed set up, all I'm going to do is now export this so we can actually present it in the browser. So what we need to do is click on the export button in the plugin. So I'm going to click export, make sure the format is set to pitch deck presentation web URL. So I've got that selected. 
And then all I need to do is click on update web presentation or upload web presentation if you've already uh, not uploaded one yet. So I'm gonna click on update web presentation. This is basically just gonna quickly upload all of the images and slide data. And we're gonna get this message here that lets us know the presentation is ready to go. Um, so you can either send this to your uh, end user or customer as a separate password and URL. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna make it quick and copy the passwordless URL, which will automatically log into the presentation for me. So I've copied that to my clipboard just by clicking this little copy icon. And if I go to my browser and paste that in, so I'm just gonna hit paste and then enter. And this is gonna load up the presentation that we just uh, uploaded from Figma. So we can jump around here, we can load up our different slides that we created. We've got all of our animations and things like that. Um, but of course we wanna actually check out slide two. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna click on slide two and this is gonna now load up the live Figma prototype that we just embedded using the plugin. Uh, so you can see here, this is the live Figma prototype uh, added exactly where we wanted. So you can see we've got our um, outer kind of padding that we kept on the slide to make sure that we've got a bit of a buffer. Uh, we've set the background to the prototype as white as well, uh, which means we can basically now scale this up and down and we can scale it without having any issues um, with background colors or anything coming through uh, from the prototype. So that's uh, really nice. If you wanna make it bigger or smaller or go full screen, uh, the prototype is gonna scale up and down uh, with that as well. So that's basically what it looks like there. And I don't think this really has any interactivity, but this is a live uh, design. So what we can do is if we go to our Figma landing page in the design and we wanted to change some of this content. So for example, if we just jump in here and change this to, I'll just quickly change the font. So we'll just make this Arial for now and replace that. So we can basically change this content here uh, to be presentation live updates uh, here. And if we go back to our uh, presentation, you can see here that it's basically updating in real time. So if I just move that over a little bit for you to see, uh, we can see here that this is basically gonna change in real time. So this is 100% live from Figma embedded in your presentation. So you can basically make changes to that presentation uh, even after the link has been shared or while the presentation is happening, maybe you wanna present something and make changes in Figma while you're presenting. Uh, that could be an interesting use case as well for showing off work to clients that's in progress. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you the basics of how to embed a live Figma prototype into your presentations um, that are viewed in the Pitch Deck um, web application. This is a really easy way of going about it. Uh, and it gives you a lot more flexibility to enhance what kind of content you can show in a presentation that you're sharing with clients or teammates or stakeholders uh, as well. So um, yeah, let's leave it there for today. I hope that's been interesting for you. If you've been wondering how to include uh, live Figma prototypes inside your presentations, uh, this is a really, really easy way to go, uh, especially if you're already using the Pitch Deck plugin. This is just a new embed that's been added. Uh, if you want to see what other embeds are available, you can click on this little supported embeds link in the plugin, and that's just going to open up a link to the documentation and give you a whole list of examples of other services that are supported to embed into your slides as well. Um, so as I said, you can kind of jump in here and this will load up a bunch of different examples. So we can see we've got um, Figma designs, Figma prototypes, Loom, uh, Lottie files, um, Google Docs, um, GIFs, MP4s, SoundCloud, all these different platforms you can embed directly into the plugin uh, for your presentations. So um, yeah, let's leave it there. And thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.